redeem the whole creation you did not despise the cross for even in your suffering you saw to the other side knowing this was our salvation jesus for our sake you died forever to the King of Kings. There are a lot of times in scripture where writers describe God, describe Jesus as the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. And I like there's one translation that amplifies that phrase. And it says that that he is the King over all the kings who think they reign. He is the Lord or the authority over all other lords, over all other authorities. This King of Kings who gave us life gave his own life for us. I was reading Mark 14 this week, just, you know, with Easter coming, just trying to absorb some of that story. And um, and Jesus prays to the Father. He, he pleads with him. He says, please, if there's any way you can take this cup of suffering from me, do. Nothing is impossible for you, God. But, Jesus says, I want to do your will, not mine. And so Jesus stayed in the suffering for you. He stayed in the suffering for me so that he could accomplish the will, the desire, the heart's pleasure of God the Father. And that was to save us. Romans chapter 5, it says it like this, that, uh, that Jesus, he was handed over to die because of our sins. And he was raised to life to make us right with God. And therefore, Since we have been made right, we can't do it ourselves. Jesus did it. He made us right in God's sight by faith because of that we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. The King of Kings came down, humbled himself, and gave his life so that he could give us life. That is what Easter is all about. Father God, thank you. Thank you that you are good and your will that you desire that Jesus fulfilled, it was for our good. We are grateful. There's nothing that we could do to make ourselves right with you, but you did what we couldn't do for ourselves. When we were utterly helpless at the perfect time, you sent Jesus. And Jesus, you stayed in the suffering so that you could accomplish great joy and bring us back to God. Thank you. 
Thank you isn't enough, but it's a good start. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen.